This is the CMT Trade Fair in Stuttgart. Today is the 18th of January 2019. The public's gone home. You can see there's some revelers out. This is the roller team Livingston Linea Bianco uh, camper van. As I was speaking, I don't really know why they call it a Linea Bianco. It should be Linea Bianca. I'm sure there's a reason for that, but anyway, that, uh, that, it's not a linguistics lesson. 43,000, 40, nearly 44,000 uh, euros in price of, uh, I think this, however, is a, a nicer camper van than, uh, for example, uh, we've got here the, the, the Duo, uh, which is beside, you can see that in another film. I don't think that one, the Duo, is so good. This one's got a bit more class, costs a little bit more money, but I think it certainly has got a bit more class to it. Okay, as you come in, you can't really see because of the, uh, the, the fortune, the lighting is not so good. The reason that the lighting is cause, not so good because the fair has ended, ended about an hour and a half ago, so they turned the lighting off. They've gone to subdued lighting, and so I've only got really the lighting from the battery of the vehicle to work by. But you've got this metal bit here as you sort of come in with a roller team logo on. You'll have to take my word for it. It's there. Uh, table here which nicely extends, see how big it is now, and uh, it can be made bigger, and, uh, uh, or it can be sort of folded up for when you're traveling or when you don't really need it or whatever. Indirect lighting throughout, and uh, double bed at the back. Lockers all around. And what I find impressive up here, you've got a large panoramic roof light. Lockers there. Fridge to my left. Below that, more storage. Here's the um, washroom. And I'm going to come in here, I'm going to show you how big it is. So there's me, uh, standing on the duck board. You can see where the, uh, the shower head, the shower holder then is there. So, uh, look how much room there is. Uh, so, I think that's quite good. You've also got a curtain rail up here. I mean, should you want to use it. And, should you want to look out the window. When you're in here, you know what's up there. You see? Sink is quite low. I like a low sink, but that's probably just gone a little too low. Coming out and into the kitchen. board. Now, uh, I find these things here very convenient. They can put them down like that. They don't get in your way. I've used one now for the past four and a half years and I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, also, good something. It's a domestic plug hole. You get a net to put in that catches all your bits and things which are left on plates. Very useful. Chopping board. Personally, I wouldn't use it for a chopping board unless I got really desperate, but I think you know, rather than uh, risk something happening to it, get a separate chopping board. Oh, and you've got a little space here as well for your um, some tea towel or something like that. Okay, let's open this up. Two burners, relatively standard, nothing up the ordinary there. Sit down. Lot of storage in there. And down here too.
chin extension and down here a little bit of storage or something, I don't quite know what. <laughs> Let's have a look on the outside. You know, the, it's dark now, but it, you know, there's not people floating around all the time. So it's easier to do something like this when you've got you know, stacks of people running around. It is quite difficult to film. Okay, right, so lots more things from Roller Team. I did a complete overview of Roller Team, which incidentally was published today. Um, it's very much an overview. I mean, this film's only six minutes long, but uh, that I filmed every vehicle here in around 20. So that what I just did now was much more detailed. So I hope that was interesting for you.